Hey everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday, and today I'm going to be showing you the last part in the three-part series of the Bumpkins Three Pouch Window Bag Trio. Over the last two weeks on Five Ways Wednesday, I have done the small piece and the medium piece packed five different ways, and today we're gonna do the large piece. So if you haven't checked out those other two videos, I will leave them linked down in the description box, and I'll put try to put them up here as well in the cards. Uh, or you can watch this one and see if you wanna watch the other ones as well. This is the large piece from Bumpkins. It is a window bag, TSA approved. It's a very, very just functional little set here. When you buy the set, you get three pieces, the large, medium, and small. Like I said, you can go check out Five Ways Wednesday for the other two pieces in my other two videos. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so it is Shadows City in my office here today. I'm sorry, I'm trying to use a ring light, but it's creating a glare. So we're just doing the best we can here. This is packed up one of my favorite ways to use the large piece, and this is as like a little mini medical kit. My kids are four and two now, so really the, like I'm not dealing with gripe water and Tylenol and things like that as much anymore. This is more for like ouchies and boo-boos and things like that. So one of the first things that I have in here are these little Halls Kids um, cough drops. I think these are really cool because um, whenever my kids have a sore throat or they're coughing, I can just give them one of these. It does help their throat, but um, it's not like taking a cup of medicine. I also have some dum-dums in here because usually when my kids have ouchies, I like to try to make them feel a little bit better. So this is for if they're good after taking their medicine, getting their band-aids or whatever else. I also have just from a first aid kit that we had at home, I have a little bit of tape and some gauze for bigger ouchies. Then in here, I have my Welly kit. I absolutely love these. They are just so smart. Um, and it's just Band-Aids, <laughs> just Band-Aids. I have a couple of other little sets that have like Neosporin and things like that in it. Um, but this time I just have the standard Band-Aid kit. Next, I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer so that I can make sure my hands are clean before I touch any of their boo-boos. And then I just have a little bit of Neosporin for kids um, for cleaning up their ouchies. The next way is as a little diapering kit. And as you guys know, I'm really obsessed with things that are just the perfect size for other things that seem like they were made for each other. So one of the first things that I wanna show you is that the Orchid Hearts wipes pouch fits perfectly in the large piece, like absolutely perfectly as though they are made for each other. So Orchid Hearts was so nice to send me these as a sample. They have an updated design with the zipper over here. Um, sorry, I'm doing this upside down. Uh, with the zipper over here on this side, they have removed the slider that used to be on here. And frankly, one of the reasons why I stopped ordering these from Orchid Hearts to sell at the Sensible Mama was because of that slider. It just seemed like we were getting so many complaints of the slider coming off. So one thing that I really appreciate about a brand is when they recognize that there's a problem and they say, all right, we're gonna fix it. So they've come out with a few new prints or are coming out with them soon. And be assured that I will be placing a wholesale order with them because these are so so cute. Um, it's got a really nice lid here, which it just, I don't know, it feels a lot like the uh, Pampers lid. It's just really nice and sturdy. It feels, um, it feels to me sturdier than the last one, which I also appreciate. And it's still got the handle and all of that. So this one is in the dinos print, which makes me really happy because my son is obsessed with dinosaurs. So I've got that sitting in there. This is just a really nice kit for like, say when I'm taking my, uh, my daughter, Abby, who's two to the church nursery or something like that, which we have not done in a while since COVID. Um, but I can put all of this neatly together, put a little label here on it so that her teachers know, uh, that this is hers and I can just get her wipes and her diapers in there. These are two size six diapers and they both fit inside of here. I had them folded over and side by side with each other, but you can also even fit a size six in here like this, which I think is pretty neat. So you could do it this way. That leaves you a little bit more space here at the top if you want to put like um, some diaper rash cream or anything like that. But this is a really cute little setup for on the go for sure. The third way is as an art kit, and I could probably do a Five Ways Wednesday just on how to use the large piece as an art kit for your kids. There's so many cool ideas that you can use here. But here's how I have this packed up today. These are two kitted kits. I just showed these in my video on Monday. Um, but these are really cool because both of these come with clay in them. We also have another one that sold out uh, the same day we got it that has a little paint kit in it. And when my kids are playing with paints or with clay, I really, really want to keep the space protected underneath of them. So in here, I have 
have two of these kitted kits, one for my daughter and one for my son. They both come with clay on the inside and they just tend to get messy, especially on carpet. So the other thing that I have in here is my Bumpkins splat mat. Now this thing is enormous. I'm gonna just unfold it part of the way here. Um, yeah, so let's just do it this way. Let me just show you how long it is. <laughs> So that was getting pulled through my camera tripod. Um, but what I think is nice about this is this is a really huge mat. It's I would say it's probably comparable to like a uh, a square shaped dining table like that you might have in the breakfast nook or in your kitchen or whatever. It's huge. Um, so I can lay this down and then I can put my kids with their little kitted kits on top of it and that way if clay gets all over the place, it's okay. Now another thing that you can do, and I just don't happen to have it here with me, is you can actually get this splat mat plus some of the long sleeve art smocks from Bumpkins in here. So if you wanted to put like a little thing of paints and some paint brushes and a, um, an art smock and the splat mat, this would be a perfect way of doing it. So if the kids are going over to grandma and grandpa's or something like that and you wanna make a cute little art kit for them that your parents will appreciate because <laughs> it's gonna keep everything nice and clean, this is a really great way to do that. And I just noticed, look at how cute this is. Do you see this? It's like rainbows and unicorns, Ugh, they go perfect together. Okay, I'm gonna need y'all to not judge me on this one. This is my makeup on the go kit um, and makeup has spilled in here. I need to clean this. I put my flat iron down on it and burnt a part of it. Sorry. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you an actual example of what all can go in here and this is my full face of makeup. So this has got lipstick, brushes, uh, a blender thingy, um, it's got my contour back here, blush, eyebrow, pencil stuff, um, uh, eyeliner, pencil sharpener thing. I've just got a full face of makeup in here. It's filthy because uh, just I have not treated it well. So I think after I film this video, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to clean these. I know a lot of um, people mention that the Bumpkins bags come with like a cloudiness on the inside. I suspect there is actually like some sort of powder put in here. I Don't quote me on this, it's just a hypothesis. I think that they put that stuff in there so that this like this does not stick to the back in transit, especially if it gets hot. Just like if you would put baby powder in between things that you don't wanna to stick together. That's what I think, but it can be frustrating to get these and then have it be cloudy on the inside, but it comes off super easily. So I think after this, I will do a quick video on how to clean this, but do it in a separate video here on my channel. Anyway, this is a really great idea for if you're just wanting to toss makeup inside of your purse or diaper bag, you can fit so much in here and it's still really slim. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of room in your bag, but you have your full face of makeup. Okay, so the last way that I'm gonna show this may not be relevant for everybody, but when I find cool products that I think some people might really be interested in, I like to share them here. I am not affiliated with this brand in any way. This is just something that I purchased recently that makes me really happy, and I love that it all fits inside of here. So, um, I am a mom. I used to be an Olympic weightlifter. I am used to having a shapely behind. Um, but having children sort of just changes that a little bit and I've been really focused on not only like trying to make the aesthetic of my body better but also just feeling stronger and like overall just healthier. Uh, and when I'm here at the warehouse, I, although I have weights, I don't feel super comfortable training with weights and a barbell when I'm here just because if I happen to be alone and something happens to me, you, you, get, you get my drift. So I ordered these booty bands <laughs> because I, I saw some exercises online and I just thought, wow, you can do everything, squats, lunges, um, like hip thrusters, anything you can think of you can do with these and it just steps up your exercise a little bit. Uh, it gives resistance training and unlike some of the, the other kind of bands like this that I've tried before, because these are fabric, they don't roll up on you or slide up on you. They're just actually really well made. So um, if you follow me on Facebook, you know I've been doing this 100 day challenge where for 100 days I'm doing 100 squats, 100 sit ups and 100 push ups. And I've been doing my squats with these. Um, so these are resistance bands. 
Whoop. When you buy their little kit, you get four of them. And we're talking about these today because they fit inside of the large piece. But just to sort of give you like a little bit of an overview of why I'm showing you these and why I think they're so cool. Each of these different bands has like a different resistance setting to it. So some of them are really easy to stretch and others are very hard to stretch. So as you get stronger, you can move up or say you're doing an exercise where, um, you know, you're having a really wide footing like your feet are really far apart and you need a, a stretchier band like this one so i've been using these in my daily workouts and i love that they fit inside of the large piece because you can see this takes up a lot of room like if these come unfolded or unrolled inside your bag there goes all of your space in your bag um and the reason why I take these on the go with me is if I just have a, a minute to knock out 20 squats or something like that, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And I can slip one of these on really quickly and get more out of that workout. And you know, as a busy, I feel sales pitchy right now. I'm not trying to be, um, as a busy mom, I have, to, I have to get as much as I can out of every workout that I do. So I ordered these, I will link them down below. I don't have any kind of a code for you, unfortunately, because I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, but if you wanna check them out, I just highly, highly recommend this product and it seems like they often have a sale going on so that has been one of my favorite ways for this large piece because they all fit in there really nicely and it keeps them nice and rolled up and tight and compact so that they don't explode inside of my bag all right, everyone, that is it for this week's Five Ways Wednesday. I hope you found this video helpful. Hope it made you see that there are lots of great ways to use this pouch, hopefully more than what you've been using before. Again, if you wanna check out the Bumpkins Three Pouch Trio, we do have them available at thesensiblemama.com. I'll have them all linked down in the description box below, as well as a lot of the things that I've shown you here today. So if you wanna check those out, you can do that. Love ya, mean it, always, and I'll see you in the next one.